Hello there everyone. Thank you so much to Switchcraft for sponsoring today's video. Switchcraft is a gripping mystery story about modern day witches where we find our main character and strong female lead, Bailey, a witch who is dead set on solving the disappearance of her best friend. Now, once you get involved with this story, you will realize that this plot has TV worthy writing and you will just want to solve the mystery more and more. Switchcraft is a choose your own adventure story, so you decide how you change the world around you to solve the mystery. As well, Switchcraft has thousands of magical match three levels that you play whilst playing and listening to the story and involving yourself in a very dramatic story and quite a relaxing match three level. Now, Switchcraft has over 85 plus characters from a wide variety of cultural backgrounds, as well as disabled and LGBTQI plus representations. And Switchcraft has some of the most aesthetic artwork I have seen. They have hand painted visuals that look so fantastic and draw you into the story more and more. So, what are you waiting for? Download Switchcraft for free now and unlock the magical mystery. I will leave the link in my description box, so make sure to check it out. Thank you so much, Switchcraft, and have a great rest of your night. Okay. Looks like the patient is ready to be dethought for examination. So let's initiate the desawing of the cryogenesis. So. Okay, and let me take a look. So the head has been dethought and the Two eyes, the nose, the mouth, the shoulders, the arms, the fingers, the hips, the knees, and the feet. Perfect. And then let's wake them. Hello there. Hello there. Apologies for waking you. Patient two, four, six, oh. Welcome to outer space. You are currently in the galactic clinic and I am your caring outer space physician today, Dr. Astrid. I am from another planet and it appears that on our sign up here. You signed up for an outer space medical examination so that us aliens in outer space are able to better understand the health of humans on Earth. Good. I see your consent sheet here. Do you still consent to a full medical exam in outer space? Perfect, thank you. So, what I'm going to do is just before we begin here, I'm going to check for space lice and I'm going to clean you because Earth is kind of a uh, place filled with a lot of bacteria. So, I'm going to first sanitize you and then I'm going to check for space lice. that 
you close your eyes. Thank you. And let's begin. Let's check the hair. Okay, and the arms. And then the legs. Okay, and then the back of the hand. Sanitization is complete. Now I'm going to quickly check for space slice. May I touch your hair? Thank you. Just going to toothed brush to check for the space lines. Couldn't find any, which is good. And we can now begin with the examination process. Okay? So, I'm going to begin with something known as a vitals check, where I'm going to take your earthly vitals. Okay? I'm going to begin by just getting your heartbeat. Okay. I'm going to use an earthly stethoscope. And I'm going to ask that you breathe. And I'm going to just get your pulse, okay? May I put this right on your chest? Thank you. Now breathe in and relax. side. Good. So, I'm going to put that down. You had a resting heart rate of about 96 beats per earthly second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually double check with an oxygen meter. I have a pulse oximeter here. I'm going to put it on one of your fingers. I'm going to let it sit there and load, getting your information while I conduct the head to toe calculations. Okay? So, give me your finger. I'm going to turn the machine on and I'm going to clip that on. I'm going to let that sit whilst I count the different parts of you. Okay. So, writing you had a 96, a bit of a higher heart rate for an earthly human. So, I'm going to ask you to look right at me, look at my nose. I'm going to start counting your body parts. Looking at your face, and you trace the shape. Looks like you have one jawline, okay. It's a jawline, one jawline, and two cheekbones. One jawline and two cheekbones, okay. And it looks like two eyebrows that sit. Eyeballs with the irises. 
eyes? Or do you have any more? Okay. Looking at the nose. You appear to have about two nose holes. What's the purpose of two? Okay, I'll have to see that. And you have two separate lips that are the opening to the mouth. Yes, let's see. I'm going to just carefully get one of my tools here to look in your nose, if that's okay with you. I have a tool here that's just going to excavate. So just sit there while I just carefully put the tool right up to the nose. Then I'm just going to just take a quick look at a sample right there. Thank you. So, going to get my other set of tools now. I'm going to take a quick look at your teeth and mouth. So, I have a set of early tools here. And I'm just going to be counting your teeth. And just put this in your mouth if that's okay. And let's count the teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Let's flip that around. Close your mouth now. Good. Looks like humans have over 20 teeth, which is a lot of teeth. And I'm quickly going to just check the back of your mouth, okay? Can you just let me put this right on your tongue and say, ah, oh, please? So, looks like. There is normal functioning to that. Are you able to swallow on your own, or do you have to have uh, food or drink on your own manual? Okay. So that's good to know. Thank you. Let me check your pulse oximeter results. Give me your finger. And it says. Yes, 96 beats per minute and oxygen level at 99%. That's great. Write that down. Vitals are good. I'm going to quickly take your earthly temperature. So sit still. I'm going to scan you. And it says the body temperature is a bit low. It's pretty cold up in outer space, that's why. And which is common, but not too far off from the average human temperature. I personally run off of 10 degrees centigrade, which is a fairly cold temperature in comparison to other life forms. And now, I'm just going to take a good look at your eyes. Okay. Can you look at the alien for me behind me? Good. I'm going to get a bit up close now. And far away. And the other one. A bit up close now. Once more on the side, I'm gonna get a bit up close now. 
far away. And a bit up close now. Far away. Okay. So you have two reactive eyes. That's good to know. Good. Good. I'm gonna finish the head to toe exam now. Looks like you had the mouth and jaw functioning properly. I'm going to just feel for um, your earthly lymph nodes right here. The lymphatic system is quite uh, a necessary system. I'm just going to feel if I'm able to sense that. Okay, perfect. That feels great. And then I'm going to feel your arms. You appear to have two. Is that correct? Good. And are you able to put your hands like this for me? Good, I'm going to count your fingers. Okay. Looks like it's one, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four, five. So, ten digits on the hands. And there's only two arms. So that's good. And they rotate off of, uh, I think those are bone systems that help rotate the parts of the muscle. Which is fascinating. Okay, can you sit up straight for me? Good. And can you raise your shoulders? Good. Can you drop your shoulders? Can you raise one? And can you raise the other? Relax both. I'm going to put pressure on your shoulders. And I want you to lift your shoulders and resist when I push down, okay? And I will be pushing down in three, two, one. Resist, resist, resist. Good. Once more. Resist, resist, resist. Good. And three, two, one. Resist, resist, resist. Good. Okay. Now, humans have a very well-working, functioning face where you can make a lot of expressions. Can you open your eyes wide for me? Good. And can you close them tight? Good. Can you form an O shape with your mouth? Like, ooh. Good. And can you make that sound? Good. Perhaps are you able to lift one eyebrow separately from the other? Okay, let's do that real quick. Good. Thank you. Can you rotate your body a little bit to the side? Okay, and then to the other side. Okay, so it looks like there's a, there is a functioning spinal cord. May I just personally touch right here behind your neck? Okay, so it looks like the neck connected to the same spinal cord, which is also connected to the backbone of the skull. Okay, and there's only one brain. Yes? Okay. Now looking at the legs, I do see that you have similar parts to your arms, with the rotating parts where the bones are. And it looks like you have ten toes on each. No, all on separate feet, ten toes total. So a total of twenty digits. Have you heard of people having more than that many digits on their hands or feet? Yes, and is it common? Okay, not so much. Okay, thank you. We are finished with the head to toe exam now, and we're going to move on to some tests and calibrations. So I'm going to quickly just calibrate the distance between your eyes. And I just want you to sit still. Going to just take a look at the distance between your eyes. Okay, and I want to know if that's the average. Good. Average of the nose right to the lip. Okay. Side of the head down to the corner of the face. Look at me. Thank you. I just want to see the distance. The sound that appears to be at 37. And right there, 37. Okay. I'm going to put this just around the base of the skull. And I'm just going to calculate just what that could be. I'm going to 
gonna take a look there and that looks to be about 65 through 70 Okay, I'm just gonna take that Okay, it's a 65 through 70 How nice and from the top all the way down to the bottom of the chin we're looking at around 23 okay thank you I had to do some calibrations of the distance of the face okay next I'm going to take just a look at your eyes once more and I'm going to just test your eyes okay good so we're going to play a game of follow the light and are you able to see the light that I have spotted at you once more? good now what I want you to do is do not move your earthly neck to follow the light just use the two eyeballs that you have okay? and just trace the light with your eyes good Wonderful. Good. Perfect. Trace it again. Good. Perfect. Okay. Good. I'm going to get a magnifying glass there. I'm going to just shine carefully to take a look at this eye. Okay, and the other. Good. Thank you. I'm going to perform a color examination now and I'm going to test you using the two color orbs that we use to test color and focus with this is a type of neurological test as well to see if you're able to maintain focus to maintain color balance and to test the pragmatics of each eye okay and I'm going to ask you before we begin are you someone who has color deficiency or is unable to see the normal range of earthly eye colors that are typically seen okay thank you now I'm going to set the lights up Let's begin. I'm going to ask you a quick color game. Can you let me know what color you see visually? What color is this orb? Okay. And do you see this color reflected in different areas of this examination room? What color is this? Blue. Good. Now, this is a test. Does the color change as I pull the orb away? Okay, and what if I bring the orb closer? It does. What if I move the orb to your left? Does the color change? Okay. And what if I move it to your right? Does the color change? It does. Okay. So that is the difference between human eyes next color are you able to identify what color this orb is? okay, what color is this? okay, this one is green does the color change as I move it here? okay, and what about here? what about up close? And what about far away? Perfect. So it does change. On to the next color. Here we go. And what color do you see here? Okay. This appears to be red. Good. Does it change over here? And here? 
and what about back here? And what about up close? Good. So the eye appears to be functioning the same way no matter the color. What color is this? Okay, this is... Okay, this is a type of purple you said. Okay. Now, I am not from Earth. My eyes are very much so unable to identify this color, as I do have color deficiency, but I have the colors labeled for me to help identify that for you. And does the color change back here? Okay, and what about all the way up here? Good. Let's continue. And what about this one? Okay, and what color is this? Green? Any more specific? This one is labeled as teal, but apparently it's supposed to be difficult for this one as I pull it farther away for you to identify. So it does the color change back here. Okay, and what about here? Okay. And now this one's also supposed to be a bit difficult. They get more distinctively harder as I choose the progressing color. What is this one? Okay, and this one's hard to identify. Yes, that is what most people say. This one is the harder one to identify, as it looks almost um, transparent, as when the eye focuses it has no color, but back here. This one is a color that is not seen on Earth, and that's why you are unable to identify it. It's something I can see. Let's test another one. This may be the same for you, but I am testing the spectrum of colors for the human eye. Can you see this one? No. That is what I said. That is what I thought as well. So these colors are something that only uh, others can see. Good. I have changed the colors of each orb and what I'm going to want you to do is to focus on one color and I'm going to just bring the orb a bit closer and farther away from you. Focus on one orb and I'm going to move them around. This is a neurological test. So choose one, and let's begin.
Very good. So, next step is I'm going to ask you which orb is closer to you. If it is this one that's closer to you, say purple. Or if it's this one closer to you, say green. Now let's begin. Which one's closer to you? Purple. And which one's closer to you? Green. Which one's closer to you? Green. And which one's closer to you? Purple. What about now? Purple. And what about now? Green. Okay. What about now? Purple. And what about now? Green. What about now? Purple. And what about now? Green. And here? Good. And here. And what about now? Unable to tell. How about now? Purple. Good. Thank you. You passed that. Very well. Good job. Next, I'm just going to take a couple of samples of your facial skin to send in for the analysis. And all I need to do for that is just use this little cotton round and go across the cheeks, okay? Let me begin. And the other side. And right on the chin. Next, I'm going to take a look into your ears, okay? And I'm going to use something known as an otoscope, okay? And this is the otoscope. I'm going to just get beside each ear and take a look. Are you able to hear the machine in your ear? And let's look in the other ear. Are you able to hear anything in this ear? I'm going to quickly check your hearing. Looks like there are two separate eardrums and an ear canal. A lot of other uh, 
types of ears have different sets up for the insides, so it's quite unique. I'm going to give you just a quick hearing exam. Let me know if you hear this coming from your left side or your right side by raising your hand to whichever you hear pop up. Okay, let's begin. Which was that from? Good. And that? Good. And that? Good. And that? Good. That? Good. And that? Good. And that? Good. And that? going to put just a little bit of pressure. Let me know if you feel vertigo from that. Any vertigo? But not least is a neurological reflex test. I'm going to test the earthly sensations on your face and body to see if your body retracts or moves based off of muscular distribution. I'm going to start off right here in the center of your head. Okay? And relax. And let's see. Beautiful. Reflex was good, right there. Below the eye, and the eye flinched. Good. Right there. Good reflex. Right here on top of the lip. Reflex was good, and on the chin. Perfect reflex. Right now we're here on the shoulders. Good. Good. In the center of the arm. Now we're going to go to the knees. Good reflex. Good. And the ankle. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. So, reflexes were good. Looks like the appearance of this was also good. And neurologically, it looks like there's no withdrawal of the sensations from face, shoulders, knees, and toes. This calculated, most parts have 2 to 2 to 2, or 5 to 5. Good. I'm going to finish off by getting a couple of samples now. First, I'm going to ask you to breathe into this tube. We're just going to send samples of your lab work. So do them carefully, blow some air in here. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And it looks like that was perfect. Next, I'm going to get a quick sample of just a little bit of your earwax. Thank you. And on this side. Good. Then we're going to get a sample right at the palm of your hand. So give me your hand. Good. And the other one. I'm going to send all these samples and information in to our laboratory and I'm going to send all this information back to you through the exact same web portal that you did to sign up. Okay? Again, I am Alien Astrid and remember your sign-in number is 24601. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining.
just relaxing as I complete the exams. I am going to go start working on your analyses now. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the cryogenesis back up. And you will wake up in the morning back in the same bed that you were at. And just check online for your information, okay? Yes, we'll send all of it back to you. Thank you so much for participating in our online study and our intergalactic science study. Cheers, and I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great rest of your outer space adventure. I'm going to activate the cryogenesis now. So I'm just going to hit a button. Okay, and relax. Thank you. <laughs>